Uh, hello guys, uh, what we have here, we have two screens, LCD screens from old laptops and I have this from China, I bought this from eBay and what is the plan to um, actually this to became a TV or just ordinary monitor uh, with the help with those uh, boards here which I didn't unpack or I just have a look in, in the box and what I have here is both boards for the both monitors and I will tell you later how you can uh, be sure which or what kind of, of, of board you need for your particular monitor uh, there with remotes which means I'm expecting to create uh, two TVs from those old monitors which I, I have uh, this should be yeah this is from one of them and this is the second model and how exactly to know which or what kind of board you need uh, before that you have to disassemble disassemble the the screen uh, you can see I removed the, the screws from here there were two screws here as well I removed them and it's just you have to be like this it's quite easier because I did this uh, several times in the past sometimes you have to remove those screws as well in my case they're broken and that's not needed here we have to be careful with the cables we don't need that and from here you can see exactly the model here is written the model B154EW02 and I believe yeah this is the board that I purchased from eBay before you purchase you have to to disassemble the, the screen and you have to send them the model of, of your screen because you see this is a different model here and how exactly we will do that I will remove this here this as well we will need also power supply which I have this is old power supply with we need 12 volts to put here on the board actually and let me show you the board as well be careful what we have here all oh, here is nice remote and I think it's pretty nice and we have here the main board which we will connect and you can see here we have VGI we have HDMI we have the power supply uh, I believe here is the coaxial cable for for the TV we have USB cable we have uh, outputs for for sound I will show you later how you can connect them here is the power supply that I mentioned that I will use okay uh, we have to connect two things first of all it's this cable here we have to remove from here and the second one is this one here let me try to remove to move a little bit here here you have to be very careful when you're opening this and I'm not sure this is the cable I will try yeah okay I remove this and I'm pretty sure that okay 
I have to put this very carefully here. It should be easy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And actually, it's very good here the connection, I believe. But maybe I will put a tape. Who knows? And the second thing that we should, and actually we have to connect, as I said, is this here, which it's like this. Yeah. Okay, and then we need the power supply. I think that it's a good idea if I turn this way. I don't know, maybe like this. It will be like this. And here are the buttons. Actually, we can see here is the power button. And you can see at the beginning I had some issues with the connector. I just removed this. Here it's is broken and I put this 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 one which I have and as I said this is 12 volt connection we have I think let's try to start okay we have green okay oh oh I think it's it's working, yeah, it's in Chinese, but it's working. Oh, this is the TV actually. And input, if we have input, or maybe source. Yeah, you can see here the, the different inputs. I believe that there is maybe English, I can find, but later. And Okay, it's it's working. It's great, actually. Let's try to power off this. I actually I put the batteries here on this remote, and actually it's very. I'm very happy with the remote because it's very light. It's not heavy, and it's working perfectly. And I think it's time to connect maybe a computer to this. Let's let's try to connect a computer.